There's no place in the world I'd rather be than right here with y'all. Let's get into it. Question number one. Who had multiple, multiple elaborate outfit changes on the red carpet at last night's Met Gala? Rami Malek, Kanye West, or Lady Gaga? Y'all remember the Met Gala? It was yesterday. Okay. Most of the dudes didn't have that much going on, but you know Lady Gaga was gonna bring it. One red carpet, more than one look. Slay, baby, slay, woo, woo, okay. Well, Gaga, Lady Gaga, all right now. Time for question two. 196,016 of y'all just did that. So proud, yeah, yeah. Question two, coming at you, here we go. Oh, remember. The questions start out easy, but they get hard, okay? They get difficult as the game goes. Don't get caught on a tough one without an extra life. You can use one per game, just not on the final round. I gotta say that, got to stress it to you, okay? Y'all ready? Question number two. In Gone with the Wind, Scarlet declares that tomorrow is what? Skiing weather, Rosh Hashanah, or another day? Hmm, Scarlet. Scarlet definitely keeps things logical, okay? Tomorrow is another day. That is very true, Scarlet. You could also have learned this by watching the movie or reading the book all the way to the very end, which would have taken a whole lot of time. After all, tomorrow is another day. Tomorrow is another day. So right now is all we got. So let's live it up and let's get this money. 215434 Just did it. It's time for question number three. whoop de dee Y'all ready? Question three. Which does the U.S. federal government have more of? Presidents, representatives, or senators? Talking about the U.S. federal government, babies. Oh boy. If you said presidents, how'd you even make it to question three, huh? The fact is, Congress has 100 senators, but a full house of 435 representatives. 184,931 got representatives. That's right. Yeah. Making, making laws and governing. Oh yeah. Question number four. Which of these grows underground? Peanuts, pumpkins, or peaches? What's it gonna be, babies? All right, lock it in, time is up. Peaches have the most out uh, the, the most altitude out of all these. Uh, you usually gotta reach up, pick them off the tree, okay? Pumpkins grow low to the ground, but to harvest peanuts, you gotta yank them up, and they usually have a lot of dirt attached. 189,170 got peanuts growing underground. Yeah, shout out to George Washington Carver. That's a little, uh, little black history. Here we go, question five. Ah, 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 question five. Question five, ah, 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 question five. Question five. What breed of dog is this? Oh my God, so cute. Is that a Border Collie, a German Shepherd, or an old English Sheepdog? Let's put your Westminster knowledge to the test. Ah. You got a herd that needs herding? Or do you just need a really smart dog? Either way, you can't do much better than the extremely reliable Border Collie. 147,714 got Border Collie. Oh yeah, they just be running with the sheep. And the sheep is like, oh no, stop! What? It looked like a wolf, but it's not a wolf. <laughs> He's not trying to eat me, he's trying to guide me. Yeah, that's what Border Collies do, y'all. Question number six. Which of these is a traditional English time to eat? High tea, quick tea, or side tea? Hmm. All right, well, let's see. Don't let the name fool you. It's not all about tea. Afternoon tea is when you have a little finger sandwich or whatever, but high tea used to be when the workers basically had dinner, which means their high tea often involved a lot of potatoes. 196,307. Got high tea. Uh, pinkies out, babies. Ho, ho. We fancy. We fancy. This is coffee. Here we go. Question number seven. What gender is blue 
on Blue's Clues. Female, male, or it's never disclosed. What's it gonna be? The show ran for six seasons, launched a spinoff, and taught a whole generation that paw prints all over your stuff are good. But the fans still sometimes argue about the dog's gender, even though the show's been very clear that she's a she. Female. Ooh, that was almost savage. Yes, Blue is a girl. A little puppy, little puppy girl. <laughs> 83,280. Got female. You got it. You knew that Blue was a lady. Time for question number eight. Here we go. What are people from Cyprus called? Cypriot, Cypress, or Cyprene? Hmm, the official name for the residents of a place is a demonym. We talked about that a couple games ago. And there are some weird ones, like uh, Muscovite for Moscow, uh, Glaswegian for Glasgow. Uh, it makes Cyprus look pretty normal, calling themselves Cypriots. Cypriots, a uh, 68,479 got Cypriots. That was the answer that I was looking for. Opa! They say that there, right? Yeah. Totally. Question number nine. Hope you're feeling fine. In terms of game theory, which of these games is generally considered solved? Chess, Othello, or Connect Four? Hmm. To solve a game basically means to produce an algorithm that will produce a win or draw with perfect play against any opponent. They figured out how to do this with Connect Four, but Othello and chess are still way too complex. Sneaky, sneaky chess. Connect four, babies. That's a savage question. Hold up. Wait a minute. Savage question song. Sorry, you got it wrong. Savage question song. That's a savage question song. Oh, okay. Ha <laughs> ha. That was fun for me to do. Question 10. <laughs> I'm sorry. Who was not the lead singer for Van Halen? Sammy Hagar, David Lee Roth, or Ronnie James Dio? Van Halen, or Van Halen, as my man Josiah would say. Okay, if you weren't around in the 80s, you missed the rock star's rock star, David Lee Roth. That dude never sat still, okay? Whether he was fronting Van Halen or, or uh, leaving them to become what fans called Van Hagar, yeah, but Ronnie was never in the picture. Ronnie was the answer. 24,047 got Ronnie James Dio. Oh, Mio. Wherefore art thou, Romeo? What? Okay. Question number 11, all dogs go to heaven, babies. What can you type into Google on many mobile devices that will provide a working example? Compass? Tuning fork or bubble level. Google loves a package search engine with all kinds of tools and gizmos for users to find. They got a metronome, a stopwatch, uh, and a wide assortment of games. Little Easter eggs, right? And on certain mobile devices, a spirit level. Complete with bubble. Bubble level was the answer I was looking for, babies. 11,127 got bubble level, and you leveling it out. Leveling it out. Leveling it out without a doubt. We're about to turn this, turn this party out. <laughs> Question 12, what's that smell? Smells like money. I'm about to get some. Here we go. The Mazda car, the Mazda car company is named for a deity in what religion? Shinto, Zoroastrian, or Luo? What's it gonna be? All right. To be honest, it didn't hurt that it was similar to uh, Matsuda, the founder's name. But the company's own website says it also came from Ahura Mazda, the central figure of Zoroastrianism. Boom shakalaka. Zoroastrian was the answer. 9,454 are moving on. It's time to move on. Y'all ready? Okay, because I'm ready to move on. Question 13, Jelly Beans. 
Which nation's flag depicts a traditional headgear of that nation? Lesotho, Iceland, or Nepal? Who's it gonna be on this fine Tuesday? All right, the international community understands that flag design is tough work, right? Sometimes you stump for good ideas and there's nothing you can do but flip over Sierra Leone's flag and slap a hat on it, just like Lesotho did. I'm sure they were sitting there like, hey, I really like your flag, but I am worried that your flag might catch a cold. Why don't we put a hat on it? Now it is ours. 7,107 just got Lesotho. Oh no, here we go. Time for question 14. Let's get it. The Indian city of Chennai shares its former name with a type of what? Vehicle, fabric, or predator? Chennai. All right, it's only been Chennai since 1996 when they joined in with a nationwide trend away from colonial names. So they chucked the old name, Madras, which they shared with the, uh, the cotton fabric produced in the area. Fabric, babies, y'all came to play! That's what I'm talking about! Yes, 6,084 are moving on. It's time for the final question. Question 15. Question 15. Question 15. It's question 15. Final round. Y'all didn't see that coming, did you? Me neither. Improv. Okay. Question 15, in what league are players not issued the number that is the answer in Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy? MLB, NBA, or NFL? Hmm. What's it gonna be? Every nerd knows Douglas Adams' is, uh, The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy and the story of the ultimate question. But only those of you with both nerd and jock cred know that 42 the book's ultimate answer was Jackie Robinson's number, which is retired in the MLB. If you got MLB, let me see you weigh those hands. Come on now. 3,650 of y'all just won HQ Trivia. Woo! Oh my, oh my. Look at that. Werner Merck! You got a dollar thirty-seven. Rahirim! OC Mama! What's up, girl? Aaron Winner, congratulations! Condo Collins! Lion 275! Spidermer! And Ashley Alena! Who else? Jay Fishlow! Johnna Cole, Deskin, Howard the Kitty. <laughs> look at that kitty cat. Oh man, look at that. Wow. We did it again. We did it again. Made some dreams come true. Shared some fun times. A couple tee hee hees. You know? You did it. You won HQ. Go brag to your friends. I've been your host, Matt Richards. Follow me there on the socials. And uh, HQ continues with words at 9.30, so check it out! If you know how to spell, you know how to win. I'll see y'all later. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.